before when I'm diagnosed, I am like uh, among the at the front group from my cycling team. Uh, but after I have this disease, uh, basically everything dropped. Uh, I'm, I have to be totally out of action. Uh, my name is Sam Tan. I'm 56 this year. I'm married for 24 years. I have two kids, uh, one at 22 and another one at 19 years old. Yeah, I'm diagnosed with uh, DLBCL. Actually, I have discovered uh, there's this small little lump under my chin uh, during uh, 2016. So uh, basically, I didn't uh, treat it seriously. Not until the late 2017, uh, I discovered this uh, huge lump just suddenly appeared overnight. Uh. So I went to see the doctor. So basically, I think it was uh, diagnosed with uh, lymphoma. When I first heard about this diagnosis, I, I was a bit shocked. Uh. A lot of questions come asking like, how come, you know, I'm staying quite healthy, but how come like this thing still happens to me? I think the first treatment was R-CHOP. Uh, R-CHOP actually is a kind of a chemotherapy for the lymphoma. I relapsed from the R-CHOP about in a year time. I got the second one, which is the RISE. RISE is actually is a stronger, stronger chemotherapy to, to treat the lymphoma again for my relapse. Uh, it came back again uh, after six months. I was told that I can uh, go for the bone marrow transplant. So this, was, I, this is actually my last treatment already to fight the lymphoma. So when, my, when I meet the new doctor, which is the uh, transplant doctor, she told me about this new uh, CAR T cell therapy. So basically, uh, it was very uh, interesting to me. I've done some research on it and uh, I found out that uh, actually it has a lower risk over the uh, marrow transplant. Okay, the doctor did mention about the side effect of the uh, CAR T cell therapy. I had a high fever um, and then come uh, the uh, hallucination. The fever lasted like 4-5 days and the hallucination also around 3-4 days. I stayed in the hospital for about uh, 6 weeks for monitoring. How DLBCL affected my life is that before when I'm diagnosed, I can like uh, do my cycling activities. I am like uh, among the, at the front group from my cycling team. Uh, but after I have this disease and after having those chemo, uh, basically everything dropped. Uh, I'm, I have to be totally out of action. Everything is a hard life. I think to stay in a very positive mindset is very, very important. I have never uh, given up through the whole process. So to maintain very positive thinking, never think about bad things, always think about the good. So this helped me a lot on my recovery.